I think everyone in the pump industry has heard this buzzword before, cavitation. Now I will show you the quick and dirty ways with which you can detect it. Hi everyone, I am Jos Oversee, pump trainer and consultant at Ovedicon. And in this video I will show you how you can detect cavitation by look, sound and feel. Let's start with look. For the ones who don't know, cavitation is the implosion of vacuum bubbles and it can reach up forces up to 10,000 bar. These implosions will damage the material they get in contact with and that gives a kind of corrosion like you see here. And that is also called cavitation corrosion. That cavitation corrosion has a very specific pattern. It's like craters in the material. And the edges of the craters are very sharp. And that is very important to keep in mind. The pattern and the craters, the edges are sharp. And over time it can even bring holes in the material. And here you see the cavitation pattern at the end of the impeller. But also here in this impeller, like you see here, this is the entrance side of the impeller. So this is the entrance and the cavitation pattern, the damage is on the suction side of the impeller. So not every cavitation damage is on the same part of the impeller. There is a second way how you can detect cavitation and that is by sound. You can detect cavitation by ear in a currently running pump installation. Because cavitating sound is a very particular sound. For me it's still like the pump is pumping marbles in this pump house. We have two different videos for you with different kinds of cavitation. Because not every cavitation sounds sounds the same. We start with the first one. In this pump insulation, you see a pressure gouge on the pressure side of the pump and here you see a valve also situated on the pressure side of the pump. During this video I will open this valve and you see that the pressure is going down. At a certain moment I will raise my hand, the pump is running at the end of its pump curve. And then you can clearly hear the ticking sound of the marbles in the pump house. I start the video for you. Now the pressure is nearly 4 bar and I'm opening the valve. You can see it here on the pressure couch. At this point the pump is running at the end of its curve and you can clearly hear the ticking sound like marbles in the pump house. But we have an, another video for you and in this case the pump is running on the left side of your best efficiency point and that can also give cavitation. But in this video it sounds like this pump is pumping big solid rocks. The sound is much darker. I start the video. You can clearly hear the difference. In the former videos it was a high ticking sound and in this video it's a very low dark solid rock sound because this is another kind of cavitation. In many cases it can be very noisy at a pump insulation site. So it's hard for you to recognize if a pump is cavitating yes or no. But there is a simple trick for that. You take a wrench like the guy here in the picture and you put one side of the wrench against the pump house. You put the other side at the bone next to your ear and with that you create bone conduction. It will isolate and amplifies the sound, the ticking sound of cavitation. 
in cases you don't bring a metal object with you like a wrench or a screwdriver there's another way to detect cavitation and that is by feel because if a pump is cavitating it will give a certain kind of vibration and you can feel that vibration with your hand but don't do it the way I do it here on this picture if you want to detect vibration or you want to detect something else don't do it like this always do it with the palm of your hand because of safety requirements and if you feel vibration it can be cavitation but it can also be something else and you need a lot of experience to be sure and it's not fully foolproof if the vibration that you feel is cavitation yes or no so if you want to be sure do it like this this is called vibration measurement and in this case you can be 100% sure if you are an ex expert in vibration measurement if the vibration is cavitation yes or no now you know how you can detect cavitation in a currently running pump installation in a quick and dirty way and maybe now you are convinced that you have to avoid cavitation as much as you can and if you want that and if you want to learn it we have two great e-learning courses about this subject centrifugal pump sizing and also NPSH calculation for water you can find more information about these courses and our other courses on our website and I hope you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe or give it a thumbs up and if you have a question please put that question under this video and we will get back to you I hope to see you next time bye